All right, I gotta show you this real quick. So I got a fake account of a friend on Facebook that was telling me about the United Nations Democracy Fund, where they were giving out like scholarships to people. They chose not random Facebook usernames, and I was given a phone number, so I texted this guy. Apparently, he said his name was Williams, and that he was, you know, gonna get me to fill out paperwork or whatever in order to to get a package shipped to my house so you know I was like whatever you know I kind of went along with it I look it up Google and how it works and they they get your information make you pay a fee of fifteen hundred dollars for transactions and shipping and whatever else and then of course don't get you the package so you know I have to admit when I saw that I was like chosen I got really excited um I'm a pretty gullible person but then you know at this point I, I looked it up I'm like this is a little fishy why would they give me this I looked up the United Nations Democ Democracy Fund and all of that stuff and um then they gave, asked for all this information I'm like oh yeah they, they want stuff for me they need all of that information they said to locate the destination where your money will be delivered are you ready to fill it and I said, you can send the check to 2013 Lynn Haven Parkway, Virginia Beach, Virginia. That is the um, address for the Chick-fil-A I work at. And then uh, whoever this guy is, we'll call him Mr. Williams. He responded and said, you have to fill out. So he got all the details for the delivery. Like, I'm confused. You need all those details? Like, my name is Nathan. And then they were telling all, oh, I'll need all this stuff for security purposes. And then, you know, I was like, well, you can just send it to me and, and cross my name out so I don't, like, try to get it twice. <laughs> and then, you know, you could see that have the best grammar, okay, if you insist. And then talking about the UPS showing up and how I need to keep it a secret because if not, people try to attack the UPS driver. And then I went playing along. I, I'm not sure. It's a big secret. Yeah, this kept going on for an hour. And then the actual organization um, says you can apply for a scholarship or a grant of $100,000 to 300000 And they said I want a package of 50000 So I was kind of trying to follow through with that. And they're like, is that what you want? I'm like, yeah, that'd be more preferable. I'd like to have 100000 So they give me a reference number and everything asking for me to keep it and all of that stuff and then got me to write it down tell me the UPS is gonna be there in 24 hours I was like dude that's pretty cool and then they talked about the importance in the fees because it's for taxes it's for all of this stuff they have it all the official stuff and then and then I was like, well, I'll have the money when the package comes because, you know, I'll have $100,000 and I can pay 1500 out of that. And then you're like, no, you have to do it before it comes. And we went back and forth. And I said I probably didn't have that much money. And they're asking how much money I do have. And I was like, that's personal information. I'm not exactly even sure or whatever. And then this Mr. Williams is like, I don't understand. And I was just trying to you know, give him the benefit of the doubt. Mr. Williams, you've probably been doing this business for a very long time. You know that is not polite to ask someone how much money they have. That is disrespectful. So I don't know exactly. They waited a while and then responded with a package of UPS and all the, uh, it's blurred out so you can't see my name on there, sadly. And saying that my package is sealed so I better get pumped about, you know, me having a package and all of that. I'm like, cool. So he says, you ready to make the payment? I'm like, I still don't have the money. And he says, well, we're going to get that. I'm like, I don't know. I don't have the 1500 So like, well, how can you afford it now? Or how much can you afford? I said, well, can I pay some now and pay some later? And then I was like, well, how about you give me the money and then I'll pay $2,000. And I said, hopefully tomorrow I'll have the money. I don't really know why I said that. And they was like, all right, what time are you going to make the payment? And I was like, dude, I don't even know. 
Like, I guess I'll pay whenever the UPS brings the money and I'll bring it out of that. We kind of talked in circles for a while and they're like, no, it's the pay beforehand. A thousand later. And I was asking how long has it been an agent? <laughs> and then this guy probably got a little mad. He said, why are you asking such questions? We don't uh, stay on one winter. We have a lot of winners to attend to. So he's trying to get this whole transaction done. But over like a 24 hours or so, you know, I just kept asking questions. And I was like, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I just wanted to be friendly. And then they sent a picture of FedEx. Yes. Trying to show how it's a real person, real winner. And the packages are really big. That's cool. But I'm like, well, what about UPS? I said, how much money did this lady get? And they said, 80000 I'm like, sweet. And they said, but you chose 100000 trying to remind me how much money I could, I could get, right? I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. I did. So they asked, how much am I doing now? And I was like, right now I am doing my phone. And then he was like, okay, whatever. Just get back to me when you're ready. I'm like, okay. And then next day, today, they're like, hey, are you there? I'm like, yeah. So I said, what's going on right now? I said, I'm doing homework. Did the UPS leave yet? He said, once you get your payment done, you will be delivered to you successfully. I said, oh, how do I pay it? He said, are you ready to make the payment now? I'm like, nope. Apparently, they didn't want to like give the information on how to make the payment to give more room for me to figure stuff out but they're like yeah when you're ready then then they'll give you the information to ask me when i was doing that i was like doing what i said making the payment i'm like well i don't have the money yet and i and i can't because i don't know how to do it or where to pay it and then they're asking again how much money he had i said well i guess probably a few hundred like what i don't understand they're probably confused at how i said probably and, and not i do have a few hundred anyway I, I didn't know exactly how much money I had anyway. I was probably giving them too much information. But they're like, dude, we're trying to help you out, bro. Whatever's, whatever's. And then they're like, maybe you don't understand. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe I don't. I said, why do you want to know how much I have, Mr. Williams? I'm trying to be respectful and call him Mr., you know? He's like, well, I'm trying to help you out. Get your balance um, paid for so that you can get your money. I'm like, well, I have a couple hundred, so if you give me $1,000, maybe I'll have enough. So I was trying to get him to send me $1,000. That would have been fun. But he didn't. Anyway, he was like, well, you can do 50 now. We meant 500 And then once he confirms that, then they'll send the money. And then apparently I was going to pay the other 1000 the day of. But I was like, I might not have that money. They're like, oh, yes, you, you said you would or whatever. I'm like, what? I don't remember that. And and I was kept asking them, well, when they're, are they going to deliver it? Because like two days ago, they said they were going to deliver it in 24 hours. But that was before they knew I didn't have the money. So yeah, we kept going back and forth on how much we have to pay when and why and where and whatever else. And then they gave this whole spiel again about how you need to pay the cleaning fee is what they called it. And I was like, no, I have a couple hundred. I was like, when will the package come if I get 500 now? And they're like, oh, in the next five hours, you can be delivered to you. And then they did you get that deal winner and how it's kind of done? And I was like, excuse me, sir. This is Sergeant Martin Sanders with the FBI. We have a reason to believe you are a scam artist and have been tracing your phone signal the past couple days. If you surrender now, no one will get hurt. Do you understand? And three minutes later, I was like, if you do not comply, we cannot guarantee the safety of your family and friends. Please respond with your compliance or we may have to follow through by other means. And then he's like, what? What do you mean by that? Are you implicating me? I had to Google what implicating means. But basically incriminated. Anyway, I was like, I'm sorry things have ended up like this for you, but it's a dead end here. Please respond with your compliance or we will have to use other means. Then four minutes later, he's like, I don't have time for this trash. I'm like, excuse me, sir. That is the kind of trash you have been giving so many people. It wastes our time for some money. It really does hurt families and that and is not moral. 
Hi, I'm Nathan and found that you are not fulfilling protocol for the United Nations Democracy Fund. Please find a more proper means to make money. Have a blessed day. And he responds, uh, 16 minutes later, I'm kind of surprised he responded. It was like, I have a lot of things to do. I was like, we all do. I'm in between several jobs and internship and full-time school, but we are never justified to take money. There is a right way to do things, even if it is the harder path. And I threw out Philippians 4, 8 there for him. And, um, you know, just kind of praying for him as much as, you know, I, I maybe was trolling him and he was mad at me. I'm hoping that some f form of seed is planted and that, you know, this person on the other side will understand that, you know, there's, you know, what ethics is and morality and understand that there's a Lord and Savior over that, you know, an ethical way to, to do things and to make money. So I'm just praying that this individual will be saved in Jesus' name and will be a testimony to uh, to many. So, uh, yeah.